family and friends, we are gathered here today to witness an important moment in the lives of Sarah Rose Christie and Brian Joseph Gowan as we join them in the union of marriage. On behalf of Sarah and Brian, thank you all for coming today to share this special moment, for taking the time and making the journey, and for all the effort that it takes, not only to be part of this day, but to be part of their lives. You have known them for many years. You have watched them grow. You learned alongside them as they matured. And you got to know them personally and professionally, both as individuals and as a loving couple. You have supported them and grown to understand them so well, so it is only fitting that we're all here to share this momentous milestone today. All weddings give thanks for the past, celebrate the present, and honor the future. Sarah and Brian mark their transition as a couple, not only by celebrating the love between them, but also by celebrating the love between all of us. The love of their parents, of their siblings, grandparents, extended family, and best friends. We hold in our hearts all those who are here today, those who are not able to make it today, and those who are no longer with us. The presence of this love and support makes today a joyous occasion to share. And so, Sarah and Brian stand under the hoopah, a traditional Jewish wedding canopy symbolizing the new home they will create together and present themselves to be married today, surrounded by the people they love the most. For those who don't know me, I'm Steve, the brother of the bride. And now, after these last few years, I got to know Brian, and I'm privileged to call him a friend as well. I'm honored to be your host of this ceremony while we embark on the next chapter with this lovely couple. Sarah and Brian, I've been lucky enough to get to witness your relationship blossom over these last few years, and it fills me with joy to see your love go sh grow stronger and stronger every day. The support and nourishment you give each other has given you both the strength to gr grow individually and as a couple. I see in the small everyday details, the elongated looks, sometimes this Sarah's chagrin if Brian's driving, <laughs> but you continue to make each other smile and laugh every day. Today, you turn a new page in the chapter of your life. You're both given the amazing gift to start to build a life together. I have full faith that your love will be the guiding light during the best of times and during tougher times if they may arise. Brian, your ever-present calm and supporting influence will give Sarah the strength when she needs it the most. And Sarah, I'm sure you'll always have lists and lots of schedules, <laughs> such as all the places you'll be going on vacation. <laughs> I do think list making runs in the family, but I'm not yet convinced that Sarah didn't invent Google calendars. <laughs> if you continue, though, to be true to yourselves and each other, you'll continue to bring joy to everyone. With your union, you're also merging the Gowan and the Christie families. That transition feels natural and right. When things are the way they're supposed to be, the universe does a really good job of reminding us that, and I think this personifies that to a T. Your love is so radiant and contagious. I mean, just look at all the beautiful faces today, smiling and blushing. I'm sure you'll remember today, first and foremost, for the love that you have for each other but remember the love and support that each and every one of us has for you both here today as well. I'd be remiss not to mention your other companion on your journey, your dog, Fossey, <laughs> who for reasons unknown was not invited, uh, <laughs> but I'm sure they'll hear all about it later. <laughs> I really am so excited to see what these next few chapters hold for you, but if the past is any indication of the future, it's gonna be something extraordinary built with trust and understanding. With all my heart, I'm so truly happy for you both and couldn't be more honored that you trusted me to help your host today. We will now sign the ketubah, a marital contract that is an essential part of the Jewish wedding for thousands of years. The bride's father, Mike Christie, will join us by playing guitar as the bridegroom and their witnesses sign the ketubah.
Please welcome the groom's brother, Sean, who will read the ketubah. Sean, if you want to read this, it's yeah. On the seventh day of the week, the ninth day of the month of 2nd Adar, in the year 5782, corresponding to the 11th day of March in the year 2022, here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, we witnessed that the groom, Brian Joseph Gowan, and the bride, Sarah Rose Christie, entered into the covenant of marriage. As new life partners, we will strive to build a home full of love, peace, tolerance, and charity. We vow to overcome life's challenges with tenacity and enjoy life joys with grace. We promise to love, cherish, encourage, and inspire one another as we embark on this journey through life. May success meet us at our desired paths which we will pave with our courage, our determination, and support for one another. We shall embrace and respect our individual heritage, qualities, and strengths. Through our sacred union, we shall strive to be sensitive to each other's needs, and we shall learn to nurture each other intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. Through this sacred union, we shall see through each other's eyes we will see the world in a different light and be better individuals and be strong as one. All this is valid and binding. We come now to the words Sarah and Brian want to hear the most today. The words that take them across the threshold from being engaged to being married. Throughout time, countless people from all cultures, religions, and societies have gathered amongst friends and family to celebrate their love for one another and their commitment to each other. Each culture has their own symbols and rituals to celebrate marriage, a rich tapestry of global traditions combined to symbolize the fabric of marriage. Today, we should try to remember that a wedding is a symbol, a heartfelt and meaningful symbol, but a symbol nonetheless. This ceremony is a symbol of how far they have come together and a symbol of the promises they will continue to make to each other throughout their lives together. Look at one another and remember this moment. You've been countless things to one another, friend, companion, dancing partner, <laughs> fiance, but now you'll say a few words that will take you across another threshold of life. After these vows, you'll say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Sarah and Brian have chosen to write their own wedding vows, which they have shared with each other privately before the ceremony. Please face each other and hold hands. Do you. Brian Joseph Gowan, take Sarah Rose Christie to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, to love her, comfort her, and respect her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, from this day forward, as long as you both shall live. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Sarah Rose Christie, take Brian Joseph Gowan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, to love him, comfort him, and respect him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, from this day forward, as long as you both shall live. I do. Sarah and Brian have chosen rings to exchange with each other as a symbol of their unending love. A ring is an unbroken circle with ends joined together and it represents your union. It is a symbol of your infinite love for one another. When you look at these rings on your hands, remember this moment, your commitment, and the love you have for each other, now and forever. Place this ring on Brian's finger and repeat after me. Brian, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Brian, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. 
with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. And now, Brian. Place the ring on Sarah's finger and repeat after me. Sarah, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Sarah, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. As the old Irish blessing goes, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine upon your face, the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Before these witnesses, you have pledged to be joined in marriage. You have now sealed this pledge with your wedding rings. By the authority vested in me, by the great state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> now, before you take your first steps as a married couple, we will conclude the ceremony with the breaking of the glass. Now, Brian, I know you've broken a lot of glasses before, <laughs> but... <laughs> You have my permission to break this one. <laughs> the breaking of the glass is a tradition in Jewish weddings that symbolizes the destruction of the temples in Jerusalem and is a solemn reminder that even at the happiest hour, we should reflect on our history. After the groom breaks the glass, it is tradition for all guests to shout, Mazel Tov! Congratulations. Brian, whenever you're ready. Mazel Tov!